Chapter 102 The First Natal Palace Not even a trace of fire could be seen within the valley. Liang Zong, Tu Zi, Nan Yuo, Bong Ba and the rest all circled around Zi Jingxun and Qin Lai, looking at the two with puzzled expressions. As they had no clue what had happened, they didn't dare ascertain whether or not this old devouring beast had been killed and extinguished. Thus, they all looked on with heavy expressions. Ban Hong, check this old devouring beast's body and see if there are any abnormalities, commanded Liang Zong. Ban Hong and three generals of the Dark Israel Hall, who had recovered some of their mind and spirit energy after taking out their spirit artifacts, moved to the soul devouring beast's side and cut open its skull as they began to carefully analyze it. Mr. Liang, the soul devouring beast has already died, loudly reported Ban Hong a long while later. There aren't any fluctuations of light within its thunderbolt ravaged head. However, its main soul is gone as well, I don't know whether or not it was able to escape. Liang Zong silently nodded and then said, Yesterday, Miss already said that the soul devouring beast had given up breaking through. Thus, even if it escaped, it will be unable to bring about any devastating calamities. Everyone all clearly let out a deep breath. It's good if it's like this, it's good if it's like this. Nanyuo's tensed nerves also calmed down as she looked towards the soul-devouring beast's corpse. Then, she looked at Zi Jingxun and Qin Lai's bodies, asking, Those two should be fine right? I'm fine, suddenly said Zi Jingxun as she opened her eyes. Circle after circle of dark light released from her black scale armor. The scale armor which covered her shoulders, waist, and legs detached piece by piece from her body and flew into her ring. After the black scale armor disappeared, she, who was wearing black, skin-tight clothing, became movingly graceful and beautiful. She put away her hideous mask, exposing her delicate and slightly pale face which added another level of moving beauty and delicateness. The soul-devouring beast's main soul should have been eradicated. She looked towards Qin Lai, then uncertainly said, Qin Lai seems like he is about to enter the natal opening realm. He is currently at the crucial period of developing his first natal palace. Once he has formed his natal palace and his Donchun's spirit see, he will wake up. Natal opening realm? Everyone's eyes revealed surprise as their gazes all turned towards Qin Lai, and all of them were inwardly astonished. Tu Zi, Zhao Qian, you two watch after him. Don't let anyone disturb him at this time, and make sure you two also don't converse too loudly. After Zi Jingxun said this, she suddenly stood up. Ban Hong, retrieve the spirit materials from the soul-devouring beast's body. Be a bit more careful when dealing with its three eyes and beast core. You must not damage them. Don't worry, my lady. Ban Hong's face was full of happiness as he hurriedly collected the other generals of the Dark Asia Hall. Using their weapons, they began to dissect the soul-devouring beast with their weapons. Miss, did the soul-devouring beast's main soul truly die? Its breakthrough didn't succeed, did it? Asked Liang Zong in a whisper. At this time, Liang Zong and Zi Jingxun were already a fair ways away from the masses as they began to quietly converse. Tu Zi, Nan Yuo, and the rest couldn't hear anything. I'm not certain, replied Zi Jingxun as a glimmer of uncertainty flashed through her eyes. Once he wakes up, I will thoroughly question him. Whether or not the soul-devouring beast was truly extinguished, only he knows, she continued as she looked towards Qin Lai. What happened? Asked Liang Zong again. Nothing, said Zi Jingxun, narrowing her brows as her face showed a slight hint of annoyance. Thus, Liang Zong didn't dare to continue asking about it. Within Qin Lai's world, spirit energy, like the quiet clouds, wound around every outer corner of the boundless spirit sea within his dungeon. In the middle of the boundless spirit sea, bolt after bolt of blue lightning gathered and twined together. Accompanied by the rumbling of thunder, the lightning was currently forming an existence which depended on the spirit sea. But at the same time, it seemed like an independent small world, a natal palace. The bolts of lightning, like intelligent snakes or twisting earthworms, surged into his dungeon's spirit sea from outside constantly moving towards the center of the gradually forming natal palace where they turned into sturdy walls, resulting in the true creation of a small space. A small domain was formed with spirit energy as the base and thunder and lightning energy as the core. Gradually, the initially unstable little domain became increasingly sturdy as it slowly took shape within the spirit sea. Qin Lai's mind consciousness, from the start, had also entered into his Donshan's spirit sea and had been observing the formation of his natal palace as it slowly condensed and took shape. He knew of the intrinsic differences between the refinement realm and natal opening realm. In order to break into the natal opening realm from the refinement realm, one had to establish a natal palace within their Donchun's spirit C, a small domain. The formation of the first natal palace meant that one had successfully opened their natal palace and entered the natal opening realm. Advancing along the stages of a natal opening realm was like constructing a small domain within a boundless sea which would gather to become a small island, then a small continent. Forming into an independent small world that existed atop the sea, a natal palace was as such, a small domain within the Donchun's spirit C. These natal palaces could contain powers which were different from spirit energy. Whereas spirit energy was created from the gathering and refinement of nature's spirit energy and thus was a fundamental power of the world, natal energy could be transformed into various kinds of different powers through the usage of special spirit arts. For example, it could be turned into powers such as blazing fire energy, frigid ice energy, sharp metal energy, and thick earth energy. Although these kinds of powers were different from spirit energy, they were all able to be cultivated by martial practitioners through those special spirit arts. Only through turning spirit energy into these kinds of energies would martial practitioners truly become able to display the power of their spirit arts thus greatly enhancing their combat power. This special quality of spirit energy caused the spirit hearts of martial practitioners to be extremely strange and their combative styles to be splendid yet mysterious, resulting in
numerous unique sects, Bongba cultivated blazing fire energy, Yanzakayan cultivated frigid ice energy, and Tuzi cultivated nebula energy. These were all cultivated through special spirit arts which transformed spirit energy. Each art had different special qualities, and thus, the resulting powers and effects were all different. In general, when refinement realm martial practitioners fought, they would use the special characteristics of their spirit art to transform spirit energy to create fire energy, ice energy, or nebula energy. However, it was different for natal opening realm martial practitioners. This was because within their dungeons spirit C, they had created natal palaces. These natal palaces had the ability to store other types of energy in addition to spirit energy. Martial practitioners of this realm, during their daily cultivation, would be able to turn spirit energy into these specific energies and then store them within their natal palaces. When fighting opponents, as soon as they activated their spirit art, the specific energy within their natal palace would immediately surge out without the need to transform any spirit energy. This made it possible for martial practitioners to greatly enhance their fighting strength. Natal palaces completely relied on the Donchin's spirit seat to be formed, but could be considered to be an independent small domain. It was the intrinsic, qualitative difference between a refinement realm and natal opening realm martial practitioner. Zzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzz
seated atop the profound nether beast, she lowered her head to look at Kin Lai and said, for you to circulate your natal palace's energy through your meridians is perfectly normal. As she spoke, Nanyuo, Bongba, Tuzi, Zhao Qian, and the rest of the natal opening realm martial practitioners all intently listened. Afterwards, they all showed expressions of enlightenment. Thanks, said Kin Lai with a smile after he listened to her explanation. His heart felt much lighter. Come with me. I have things I want to speak to you in private. Zi Jingsun scooted up along the profound nether beast towards its head, and afterwards, she motioned for Kin Lai to get on. Under everyone's astounded gazes, Kin Lai's expression became surprised. With that, he lightly chuckled and obediently hopped onto the back of the profound nether beast.